great pleasure that I'm joining the people of Hong today to celebrate a great song of the earth. Truly, Boss Mustafa is a fantastic man. I ask Papi Chairman, I want to say, and as a citizen of this country, we are used to awards, we are used to reflection, we are used to citation, but when your people, high and low, your highnesses and the ordinary people from your own background come around to celebrate you and take the trouble of coming all the way from Adamawa State, then truly we have a man that is worth celebrating. I I think it was the Commander, oh no, the man who read the citation, who said that he doesn't know if boss has any nickname. If the word boss is not a nickname, I don't know what the nickname is. The first time I met him, and he was introduced to me as boss, I thought to myself, hey, is this a joke? Or uh, what else can it be? I concluded at that time that boss was in fact a nickname. Only to find out that God has created him as boss, his parents have made him as boss, and by the grace of God today, he is truly a boss. On behalf of the party I represent, that we were glad, we were happy, we celebrated when he was appointed secretary to the government of the Federation. Why? Why do we celebrate? Here is a man of experience. Here is a man of exposure. Here is a consummate politician. Here is a politician who has been through the rigors of contesting elections. There is nothing like that. There is no experience that can duplicate it. Here is a man who has succeeded in his profession. A barrister of the state. A chairman of the Bar Association in the state. A political administrator finally became secretary to the government of the Federation. So, for us, in politics, we have a consummate politician. We have an experience for a, for a professional. We have a man who is mature. We have a man who is intelligent. We have a true party man. We have a bridge. Very important. A bridge between party and the executive. So, on behalf of the party, on behalf of my colleagues of the National Working Committee of the APC, I want to say to the people of Hong, congratulations. I want to say to the people of Adamawa State, congratulations. I want to say as Chairman APC that both we are very glad, we are very happy to have you as Secretary to the Government of the Federation. I thank your good wife who have been with you all these years. Thank God I have been in the city. I was in the civil service for a very long time. I had the wonderful opportunity of managing men and materials. And I had the gift of looking at people and reading them. A self-made man. 
A lot of you seated here today are part of my life. If I have become the secretary to the government of the Federation, it's because of certain things you did in my life at a specific time that has aggregated to make me who I am today. And I owe you a lot of gratitude. I believe as a community, we have the base of culture, we have the base of tradition, we have the base of neighborliness. We watch over each other. In spite of our small number, from our state and all over the country, because we bond together, we keep ourselves together, we watch over each other, our ascendance to very important positions in Nigeria is always cured because of the kind of community we come from. So I want to commend this brotherliness that we always exhibit to remain a feature of our community so that we can transfer this legacy to generations yet and born. Let me cast my mind back a little. Probably I would not have ventured into national politics if it were not for people like Reverend Wilson Sabia, Alhadi Yerima Bala, and of recent, in modern times, somebody like General Kama, General Hanania, and a lot of others. Let me give you one instance. General Kama was sole administrator of the 